Hello everybody. Today I am going to show you how to play with your controller. Any sort of controller will work. Every controller should work that you can connect to your PC and you can play it on Minecraft or any game that doesn't even have controller support. So first what you want to do is you want to go to add a non-Steam game because Minecraft is a non-Steam game. Now for me it's right here but for you you'll probably have to click on this browse button and find it manually and it should be in your hard drive in your program files you um, sorry this one it should be in the M's right here and just minecraft launcher exe and then now that you've done that, you click Add Selected Programs, and it's right here. So it should be all good. And now what you want to do is click on this little controller button, Big Picture Mode. Wait for this to start up. And now that you have that, you want to go over here, click on Controller Settings. Now, you probably won't have any of these checked. But depending on what kind of controller you have, I have an Xbox controller. But if you have a PS4 controller, you click this one. Xbox controller, you click this one. And if you have any other type of controller, you want to click this one. Now I have an Xbox controller, so you click this one. So now that we have that checked, you want to turn on your controller and go ahead and plug it in. And now it should detect that you have a controller. And you click this and it'll vibrate your controller, which you might be hearing. Well, now that you have that, it should be mostly set up to play. So now we just gotta go and find Minecraft right here. And you want to go to controller configuration. Now, I have it all set up all ready for myself, so I'm just going to go through a bunch of the stuff. Now right here, it's a directional pad, so when you press forward on your uh, controller, you should go forward, as in W, A, S, and D, and depending on which one you click. And that's for this one right here. And then the hotbar, now this is pretty self-explanatory, you can move your hotbar to the left and right, and I also have this one, the top one set to 2. It'll go to the slot 2 on the hotbar, and this one will go to slot 1. And then this one right here, the joystick mouse. Now, you want to set it to joystick mouse. I recommend turning the sensitivity down a little bit because it will be pretty high. Go over to additional settings and add a little bit of a dead zone, or else your camera will be always moving, and it's kind of annoying. And now I'm going to go through these ones. So A is space, which is jump, B is Q, which is drop, X is E, which is open inventory, and this one is special. I call it quick stack. It's shift and right mouse button, so when you click on that, it will like move something from your inventory to a chest or vice versa and stuff like that. And I find that's pretty nice to have. And then the this and then the trigger the the right trigger is left mouse button the left trigger is or the right yeah the left trigger is right mouse button you know i got those mixed up oh well it's fine and when you're on a server you can click tab and it'll open the player list and when and then you can click on the menu button for escape and then that should be everything, oh, besides the previous item and the next item in your hotbar. Scroll up and scroll down. And that should be pretty much it. So now you just want to go ahead, and you have your controller on and it's plugged in, and you want to click on play. As you see here, we have... Minecraft all opened up, and I'm actually using my controller to move my mouse right here with the with the right thumbstick and with the right trigger, you can actually click on things. So now you can go ahead and click on any of these things 
with the right trigger. We'll just open up this one. Now, I don't know, for you it's probably pretty framey right now, but it should clear up in just a second. Now, I'm actually using my controller to play Minecraft. Yeah, PC. There is no mods involved with this version, so it's 100% server friendly. And when you go ahead and click start, it opens the menu. And when you click X, it opens up the block list and your inventory. I just want to show you. When, you, when I, I clicked on Y and it brought up a whole entire stack, and you click Y again, and it will just move the stack. It's pretty cool. Now, I want to show you that this also works on servers. So I have my own server right here. Well, never mind. Let's just go to an official server. As you see, I am on an official server, and I'm using my controller, and because it's not modded, I can play. It's that easy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.